everybody, David Newton at DTN2 Horror here with a video for Carlos at Eastwood for Life Fan. Carlos has hit 500 subscribers and he's hosting a contest to say thank you in which he's giving away eight movies. The first place winner will get to choose uh, four of the movies and then the runner ups will get to choose from the remaining selections. You have until Sunday to get your entries submitted, and Carlos will be hosting a drawing on uh, Monday, uh, July 20th. Uh, you have to be subscribed to his channel, and you have to let him know in the contest announcement video that you have made a video so he can track it and get you added to his playlist, I guess. Uh, but he has three challenges he would like for us to answer. The first challenge is to let him know how you discovered his channel. I discovered your channel, Carlos, through Cody at h and Collectibles. Uh, he posted a contest entry, and uh, so I went to your channel and uh, checked out a few of your videos. Uh, I just subbed tonight, so I'm very new to your channel. Uh, but what I've seen so far that I really like about your, about your channel is A, your love of all genres of movies, and B, you gave a shout out uh, in one of your videos. Uh, I feel like shout outs are um, very powerful <laughs> within YouTube, uh, especially for new channels. Uh, it's, it's very helpful to get your name out there. Um, I just started my channel about two weeks ago and uh, right now I'm at 12 subscribers. So any help from uh, members within the horror community is, is uh, very uh, appreciated. Uh, challenge two was to share three of your favorite film series and within each of those series what is your favorite movie? So I'm going to go with the Hannibal Lecter series as my first favorite series. Um, you have Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Red Dragon, and Hannibal Rising. Um, others often include the movie Manhunter, but to me, Manhunter is just uh, another version of Red Dragon. Um, this is my least favorite in the series, but my favorite has to go to The Silence of the Lambs. Uh, Anthony Hopkins' portrayal of, of uh, Hannibal Lecter is just some of my favorite um, acting in all of cinema. Uh, he's on the screen for less than 20 minutes, but they're very impactful. I just love the character of Hannibal Lecter. Um, he's very cunning, um, mysterious. Uh, you add the character of Clarice Starling, uh, portrayed by Jodie Foster and uh, Buffalo Bill portrayed by uh, Ted Levine. It's just a great movie. Um, this came out again when I was 14, made a huge impact on me. And it's just been one of my favorites, gosh, for nearly 30 years now. Uh, the next series uh, that I really like is the Robert Langdon movies with Tom Hanks. These are the movies based on the Dan Brown books. Uh, you've got The Da Vinci Code, uh, Angels and Demons, Inferno. Uh, but my favorite is The Da Vinci Code. Um, I just really liked how this movie, I guess, kind of shed some light on uh, how powerful the Catholic Church is and almost kind of how secretive it can be at times. Um, I really like Tom Hanks' portrayal as Robert Langdon. You've got Sir Ian McKellen as the antagonist in the movie. Uh, just very well done. Um, I just really like Dan Brown's books and uh, hoping they eventually make uh, Lost Symbol. But uh, this is by far my favorite. The uh, next series is the Halloween franchise. Um, I just always loved the character of Michael Myers. Um, I was really happy when Halloween 2018 came out. 
Um, I was just excited to see Michael back on the big screen and uh, to hear John Carpenter's classic score again, which is, was great. Uh, but my favorite in the series by far is the original from 1978. Uh, just a very well done movie uh, for such a low budget. I mean, you've got Dean Cundy's lighting that everyone has tried to mimic. Uh, you've got Jamie Lee Curtis with her breakthrough role. Uh, you had Donald Pleasance, which kind of made the movie legit. Uh, this was something that Cody pointed out in his video as well. Uh, I just really like the whole theater of the mind. Um, you know, Michael's in the shadows for a large part of the movie, and it's, it's just that anticipation that just kind of builds and builds and builds. Uh, just very well done. John Carpenter's score again, it's just classic. Everyone knows that score. Uh, just doesn't get better than this, folks. Uh, I never tire of this movie. I watch it at least three or four times every year. Uh, Michael Myers was one of my favorite horror icons uh, of all time. All right, the third challenge was to talk a little bit about your channel. Um, as I pointed out in the beginning, this is a new channel that I started about two weeks ago. Um, the name DTN2 Horror comes from my initials. Uh, my name is David Thomas Newton II, hence the DTN2. And my love of horror, I just combined the two and that's where my name comes from. Um, this is my second YouTube channel. I have another channel, uh, David Newton, Unsightly Vinyl, which is dedicated more towards my uh, vinyl collecting. Uh, but I've had, I've had a channel on YouTube since 2007. Um, I used it primarily for just uploading videos of me doing cover songs. Um, I play guitar and piano. And so YouTube was just a place for me to upload those videos just for keepsakes and to share with family and friends. Uh, but it was in t uh, 2017 when the announcement of the new Halloween movie came out that I really started like subscribing to channels like uh, Dave McRae, who watched the movie, um, Kobe Leach and, and Drum Dums. I was really excited about the new movie and was, was watching people's excitement as well on YouTube. And uh, it was through those channels that I met Beth at B-Side Records. So she invited me to join the violent community and so uh, I started really becoming active in March of 2019. Uh, I've uploaded several videos uh, regarding my vinyl collection, but I love horror too. And so I started this channel to connect with uh, people that have a love of movies, not just horror, uh, non-horror as well. Um, I also collect horror figures. Uh, this is the Mesco uh, of Pinhead. I collect the NECA figures. This is uh, Pennywise. And uh, I've met some people, or I haven't met them, but I've, I've found some channels that I really enjoy in the uh, horror community. Phil's Creepy Vids has a lot of, of great videos about uh, his horror collection. Uh, Cody, as I mentioned earlier, at h &S Collectibles, he shares uh, horror collectibles as well as vinyl. So this was just a, um, a channel that I wanted to start to meet people that love movies, uh, horror and non-horror, and just um, a way to discover um, new movies. I mean, there's so much that I haven't seen, uh, horror and non-horror. So. Uh, just looking forward to meeting new folks uh, and just uh, starting some new friendships. Well, that's gonna do it for my video, Carlos. I hope I met your criteria. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Carlos's channel, I'll post a link down below in the description. Go check him out. And uh, until next time, take care. Thanks.